Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use categories with message flashing in Flask. So I've talked about flashing before in Flask, so I'm going to talk about uh, extra thing that you can do with message flashing, which is have categories assigned to it so you can kind of uh, categorize and group your flash messages together on the front end. So like always, it's better when you actually demonstrate it. So the first thing I'll do is explain the code that I have. And I have two routes. Um, the first one, the index just simply redirects to these to this other route called redirect it. The reason why it does that is because when you flash a message, the next request gets that message. So when you redirect, if you flash a message before redirecting, and I'll import the flash function here, then whatever this message is, so hey there, this becomes available in the next request. So what I can do is I can do something like this. So if I say uh, with messages equals get flashed messages. So this allows me to get any messages that were uh, sent to this request. And then what I'll do is I'll check to see if messages actually exists. And messages is a list. So if there is anything in that list, then this if statement will pass. And then what I want to do is I want to loop over those messages. So uh, for message in messages in four, and I'll just put the message here. Okay, so we should be able to see this running. So if I go back to the index, um, forgot to put the secret key. So you need that for flashing messages. So I'll just put just a secret key. Okay. So now when I refresh, I see, hey there, inside of my alert. So with message flashing, I can provide a category that can allow me to separate out the messages. So for example, this is an error. If I do it this way, and go to the index so I get redirected, I see, hey there, and this is an error. So I get two alerts. but they're different because one is okay and the other is an error, just as an example. So what I want to do is I want to add a category. And to add a category, you simply pass another argument to the flash function and give the category a name. So I'm going to call the first one success, and I'm going to call the second one error. So now when I do that, I'll have access to these two categories. And what that allows me to do inside of the template is handle it in one of two ways. So the first way is to simply have messages be a list of tuples that have both the message and the category. So I can kind of display what the category is. So for example, if I want to do that, I'll just say with categories equals true. And when I say with categories equals true, and this should be lowercase true because it's inside of the template, um, what I can do is get the value out of the tuple. So because it's a tuple, I'm expecting two things, and I can do something like this. So category dash message. So when I run this again, I see success dash hey there, which is the one with the success category. And I see error with the error one. So if that works for your case, then that's great. If it doesn't, the other approach is to use a category filter and then you can separate the HTML out even more. So for example, I can say uh, with categories here equals true, or I can use the category filter and say category filter error. And now it's only going to get the error message out of it. So it still behaves uh, the same as before. So it won't be a tuple. It's just a list. So now when I go back to the index, it redirects me and I only see the error. So the good part about this is you have a couple of approaches. You can take a look at the category. So I'll do pretty much the same thing, but two different approaches. So I'll copy this. And the only difference between the two is one will be for success and one will be for error. And then the one for success will have alert success. 
And for this one, I'll have alert danger just so it looks different. So now when I run it, the successful one is green and the error one is red. So I separated them out and they appear differently. Now to do that using the other approach, if I say with categories equals true, once again, I'll go back to having a tuple being returned and then I'll have an extra if statement. So if category is equal to success, I'll display this. And then I can do another if block down here. And it depends on how I structure my data. Uh, I could have used the else statement, but I already started writing. So if error, and then I'll have pretty much the same thing. The only difference is this will be danger instead. So let me indent these since they're in the if. And now when I run it again, I see the same thing. And if just to confirm, if I change this to danger and this to success, they're going to flip. And you see now the red is on top and the green is on the bottom. So that's how you can use categories with message flashing in Flask. It's fairly straightforward. I just wanted to show you because I felt like my other video on flashing was a little incomplete. So with this, this pretty much covers all the ways that you can use message flashing in Flask. So if you haven't checked out my website already, you can go to prettyprinted.com and see that I have courses available. Um, I have a few Flask courses in case you want to learn Flask in a more structured way. Um, as far as this video goes, if anyone has any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.